Hi, my name is Nicolas. I'm a field application engineer supporting ST microcontroller. And today I would like to show you how to build a simple project. So in this case, how to blink your LED from STM32 CubeMX for Atolic, which is now ST, to Studio for STM32. To download STM32 CubeMX, you will have to go on our website st.com and in the search menu, you will type STM32 CubeMX, click on it, click on Get Software, and then you will click on Get Software again. After downloading and installing STM32 CubeMX, we're going to open the application. So by double clicking on the icon that has been created on your desktop, STM32 CubeMX. So I'm going to double click on it. Once CubeMX has been open, so it will look like this. So the first thing you want to do is to create a project. So you're going to click on new project. The board we're going to use today is a Nucleo 32, so 32 pin using a stm 2 l 432 and the LED that we're going to blink is located in the corner right here. A new tab has been opened now. So this is where you have to select the microcontroller that you want to use or the board that you want to use. So in our case, we're going to use a Nucleo board. So there is a tab directly here called board selector. And we know it's a Nucleo 32. We know it's a stm 32 l 4 So we click all of this. And now I have access you know, to my board. So you get all kinds of information about it, description, uh, what microcontroller has been used. So in this case, this is a stm 32 l 4 32 There are some links right here for the data sheet of the product and also some documentation links you know, to our website. And now what we're going to do is start a new project. So we're going to click on Start Project. We're going to select to initialize all peripherals with their default uh, mode. So the only thing we want to do in this project is to toggle the LED, so LED3. So we're going to click Yes. So this is the first tab, the Pinout tab where you see the view from the top of the microcontroller stm 32 l 432 kcu 6 So this is a QFN 32 pin package microcontroller. And here is in green, the different configuration that have been used for the IOs on the nuclear board. So for example, in this case, PC14 and PC15 are used in an alternate function for oscillator 32 kilohertz. And so there are some other configuration, but what we are interested in for this uh, demonstration here is to use PB3 as an output push-pull because it's connected to the LD3, so LED3, uh, which is a green LED. And we're going to use that you know, uh, LED to toggle it using a very simple uh, project. So. We want to make sure that in the configuration tab, if we go configuration here, GPIO, the IO has been configured as output push pull, no pull up, no pull down. By default, it's going to be low, so the LED will be off. And the maximum output speed can be low because there is no need, it's just a LED. You can put a label here that you can change. So by default, it's LED free green and we just want to press OK. Now we're going to go to the project settings. So we're going to go project settings. We're going to give a name, you know, to uh, this project. So LED blink in this case. You're going to give a location where you want, you know, this project to be created. And we're going to select here the ID, the ID that you want to use. So in this case, we're going to use a True Studio. So this is the ID from ST and from uh, Atolic. So True Studio for STM32. So we're going to select it. Leave the rest, you know, by default. So you see that here 
the, we're going to use this version of the cube library. If you don't have the cube library that is uh, uh, installed on your machine, it will be downloaded automatically when you want to create the project. So once it's done, we're going to click OK. Now we can generate the project. So we're going to go to project, generate code. Now we have the choice to open the folder to see what has been created or directly open the ID using the project that has been created. So that's what we're going to do. Open project. We're going to use the default workspace uh, directory for Atolic uh, True Studio. So this is the link you know, for my uh, setting here on my machine. So I'm going to press OK. Now, Atolic True Studio for STM32 is open and our project is here. So that's a project that has been created when we generated the code from CubeMX. And we want to go to the source directory, main.c. So we can look at the code that has been generated. Very simple code here. We just want to make sure that the GPIO init has been correctly been generated. So that's the, here. So this is basically uh, you remember, you know, the PB3 that has been configured as output push pull. And uh, so it's been configured correctly. And what we're going to do now is in the main function, so where all the initialization has been done, we're going to add a simple li line of code, or two lines of code actually, to toggle PB3. So those are the lines of code that we're going to add. So first of all, a function you know from the HAL library so from the GPIO uh, library to toggle one pin so this is HAL underscore GPIO toggle pin and then you give the parameters of the port and the GPIO pin that you want to toggle and then we're going to add just a simple uh, delay function so here we add a delay function of 100 milliseconds now we're going to build the project. So project, build project. So this is going to compile all the different C code, uh, generate you know, the linker file, and generate you know, the outputs so that we can debug and program you know, the microcontroller code firmware. So now the project uh, build correctly, no error, no warnings. Now we are ready to debug. So to run the code. So to do that, make sure, first of all, of course, that your uh, board has been connected you know, to your laptop or to your host using the USB cable. Then you're going to go to the project, make sure that it's been selected you know, with the left uh, click. And what you're going to do is going to run debug as embedded C++ C++ application. This opens a debug session where now you are able to run the projects. So you go to the arrow over here and you're going to click on it. So this will execute the code and you should see on your board the LED, so the green LED that is uh, blinking correctly. The LED is blinking as expected. We can now stop the execution of the code by clicking on this icon first and then also terminate you know, the debug session by clicking on this icon. So thank you. So this was to show you how easy it is to generate a code from QMX to uh, Atolic uh, True Studio. So thank you.